hey crafters it's your girl again with another video so this video is gonna be about the essential things you need to start your heat press business if you're trying to um start if you're trying to get into crafting i am going to be sharing all the things that you need to start your business and it is gonna be 2023 or by the time you watch this it's already 2023 and of course everybody have different goals vision dreams and all of that and um, if this is your goal for 2023 to start up your heat press business or your t-shirt business or whatever kind of business you are trying to start then this may be a great video for you to watch till the end because i will be sharing with you guys exactly what you need to start your business so if you're that person that have been sitting on trying to start this business honey it is going to be a new year. Enough is enough for going back and forth. It's time to make the decision to start right now. You just have to start. You got to push yourself. You got to push yourself to do what you want to do. Sometimes we need a little bit of push. And if that, if this is going to help you um, go for your dreams, your goals, your vision for 2023, then I will be happy that I was part of it. Um, for my business, when I started, I thought about it. I watched a lot of videos. I was getting excited. And one thing with me, if you really know me uh, in um, personally, you will know that I'm a go-getter. I love to um, try different adventures. I love to try a lot of things. And um, when I think about it, if it's going to be beneficial to me and my family, I go for it. I don't even wait. So I am advising you, if you have that in mind and you've been thinking about it, honey, don't sit on it. That means that's a message from God trying to tell you that it is time for you to do it. You've been watching a lot of videos and you're watching this video right now. That's a sign, honey. Go for it. Give, um, push yourself to do it. Try it. Don't be scared because fear leads to failure. So fear is the number one enemy of all humans. When it has to do with your dreams and your goals, don't let fear or anybody hold you back. Just go for it. And you don't you have no idea what you have on the other side if you don't try. But anyways, without wasting much time, let's get into this video, right? <laughs> so I will be sharing with you all the things that you're gonna need to start your heat press business. Um, one thing you're gonna need is your computer, laptop, whatever you have, you will need that for you to design or for you to print out your shirt. So I'm gonna show you my computer. You don't have to buy anything fancy, just buy whatever you can afford. And if you have a computer, then you use it. You don't have to buy nothing. So for me, this is what I have, excuse my table. I have a mess going on. You can see I have vinyls. <laughs> Just excuse what I got going on. But um, you will need a computer and so you will need a heat press. So this heat press that I bought, I bought it from Heat Transfer Warehouse. And this is the, the um, clamshell, shell, clamshell heat press, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, I'll put it on the screen. And um, they have the swing away. I bought this heat press for over, for close to $500. It was actually on sale that I got it for. You will find regular heat press on Amazon and on Walmart. I, I suggest you go on Walmart because Amazon sellers, most of them usually go to, they usually drop ship from Walmart. So um, I believe you'll find a cheaper, um, an affordable heat press on Walmart. Because you, like I said, you'll find those the same heat press on Amazon, but it, it's gonna cost more because people are drop shipping. That's their business, and when when they get when they when they drop ship from Walmart, they definitely will have, add their profit. So I I I would suggest you check on Walmart. You will need your Cricut, and I am using the Cricut Explorer Three. And I love this here. This is my baby. I love it so much. It does a lot for me. And when I bought it, it came with all of the tools that I need. And these, these tools are so helpful. I did not have to buy them individually. So if you if you find the one that you don't have to buy individually, that is better. Because you don't have to spend money. So that is a good thing. The major things that you're going to spend money on is the heat press and the um, Cricut Explorer. And you don't have to buy Cricut Explorer. There are different types of Cricut. 
Um, you don't have to buy Cricut Explorer 3. That's what I use. And you, there are different types and they are updating every time. And you don't even have to use Cricut. You can use Silhouette Studio. Is that what they call it? But I'm a Cricut girl, so I love my Cricut. Another thing you're going to need is your tools. You, your tools are going to be your best friends. And this here. This is my weeding tool. This I cannot do without. Without this, I cannot work at all. After printing my design, this is my best friend. So this is one thing you're going to need. And this is the weeding tool. This is how it look like. You use this to weed. So I really love this. And you're going to need your squeegee. I came with my Cricut um, machine. And I also got uh, every other thing as well. When I bought the machine, I got these other tools. And these I used to pick little objects. And of course, my scissors. I do use it a lot. This here, I actually bought this separate. I When I bought this roller, that's when I um, this actually came with, with it. So, so you're going to need this, your roller. So this will help you like when you place your binder on the mat. You use this to roll it so it can adhere. It can stick to it. And uh, even if you don't use that, you use your hand, it, it's going to work. I only use this once to be honest. When I was um, making a sticker and I used it to take out the sticker. So that's the only time I use this. I've never used this for anything. So this is not like an essential essential if you're not going to be making stickers. I haven't seen what I really need this for. But I just wanted to show you what came with my Cricut. These two did not come with my Cricut. I bought this separately on Amazon. I'm a Cricut girl. So all my things are Cricut, Cricut, Cricut. So, and the scissors, I just, I forgot to show you guys. The scissors is something that it has a cover to it. So it is safe. Um, if you have kids, they will not be able to mess with it because they will not understand what the heck this is, especially little kids. Not the bigger ones though. <laughs> so another thing I wanted to show you guys, I still have more things coming. You're going to need this lens roller. This will help you take out the lens out of the shirt so that you don't have those in your shirt. Because if you have those in your shirt, if you don't take out the lens, it's going to be in your design and it's going to... You're gonna have like a blue some kind of you're gonna have like some kind of residue something on your design it's gonna be part of your design and you don't want that so you want to make sure you always have this handy i bought this from amazon but it was a three pack deal and it was really good and i've been using this for the longest you can see i still have a lot left so another thing you're gonna need to me i always use this this is my best friends. Like I, I work, I cannot do without this. The neck measurement, pl pl neck placement measurement rulers. I bought this from Amazon. And um, it's kind of, it, it kind of helped me to know where to place my design. When I just started um, designing, I did not know where to place it. So I was placing it. I was using my hand. They say use your four fingers. And everybody have different um finger size so you when you want to do it four finger um if you have a small finger it's gonna be all the way to the top so you don't want it this is just a perfect place to place your design so they have like different sizes this is for youth this is for infants this is for um toddler and this is for adults so i love the uh four package i always use it like always always use it so i would definitely recommend this here and of course, you will need your T ruler so as to get the middle of your t shirt so you can know where to place it. I would suggest when buying the T ruler, rather than buying just T ruler, buy the ruler that has another ruler across so that when you're measuring, you can place it. And um, when you want to check the bottom part, this part here, the hor your horizontal design with the. Um, additional ruler let me grab my ruler that I usually use with the additional ruler you'll be able to see if it's placed um, correctly vertically correct because sometimes one end this sometimes one end is like down and the other end is up so with that ruler that is like 
it's like a cross i don't know how to call it with extra at the bottom that you can move around it really helps you to place it correctly so i suggest you get that i did not get that when i started no i did not see a video that recommended that for me so all i saw were people with tea ruler and your girl went to get tea ruler now i am using these two rulers to work so I'm going to be upgrading and baby, and, and I'm going to get me the ruler that I really want. So I just thought I should let you guys know so you don't be like me. So of course, you're going to need your mats. It's very important. And one thing I, 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 I did not get anyone to advise me on was when you get your mat, you always get this that comes with it. Make sure when you, you're done using it, place it back. That's going to help to protect your mat and your mat is going to last longer. That way you will not have to buy a new mat because when you leave your mat without that, you're going to have mat that is already like done. So it's not going to stick to, the vinyl is not going to stick to it properly. So you always want to protect your mat with this. When I got mine, I took out all of that and threw it in the trash. So I only had one left that I did not take out when I got to know this was... Uh, helper i'm like what the heck so i have four mats or five mats that is already destroyed which i have to buy another one because i did not cover them up this one is the only new one that i have right now i know it looks crooked because i've been working so hard <laughs> so i always make sure you have these on your mats to protect your mats that's that's gonna be really helpful that's gonna help you a long way so another thing you're gonna need is your Teflon sheets. So this Teflon sheet helps you to uh, when you put when you place your shirts, you put the Teflon sheet that that helps for even heat distribution. So another thing I'm gonna show you is um, the tape. This tape is great for heat, so you can use this um, if you. If you're probably doing, if you're probably doing a printable and you don't want it to move, you can use this tape to hold down the design, the paper or whatever, the vinyl, and press it. When you press it, this is not gonna harm your cloth. It's not gonna harm nothing. It's gonna, it's it is heat friendly basically. So the next thing um, you're gonna need, you're either gonna need your scissors, which I already showed you, the one that came with my Cricut, and you will need. You may need this. You don't have to get this. This is something just extra. If you don't want to use the scissors, you can use this. You do not need this. This is not a necessity. Your scissors can work as much. I don't use this as much. I just bought it. And I'm like, why did I buy this? But sometimes when I'm doing a specific project that I want an even cut distribution, like if I want the cut to be straight, that's when I use this. And if you know you prefer to use this, this is really going to help you cut your vinyl. And your vinyl is going to be straight. It, there's not going to be no kind of um, crooked cut. And when you're placing it, when you're using the vinyl on your next project, it's not going to be like crooked. Everything is going to be straight. So that's the, the part where this will come handy. All right. So another thing you're going to need you don't need it if you want it is um this um light uh what they call this i don't even know what this is called it's like it helps you to weed if you if you're struggling to see this light is supposed to help you to see see where the the lines are on your designs and you to help you know where the designs are and you'll be able to weed it so this you don't need it I only bought it because of my glitter vinyls because I have problems seeing those cut on my glitter and the glitter vinyls and this come in different lights um, settings um, different lights so it's like from dim to um, the next level to the next level to the highest so I bought this from Amazon and I used it just once or twice so you don't really need this my lighting sucks, but I had to own the light so I can, you guys can really see me. So another thing you're going to need, you're not going to need like a rack, a storage rack. And I bought this rack from Amazon. I do not like this rack. I do not recommend this rack. I, I, this rack is like limping forward and I'm about to toss this, this crap in the trash. So get something better. 
So just an FYI, so you don't go get something like this because it's more. The other things you're gonna need, you're gonna of course need your vinyls. So the most popular colors that you're gonna need is gonna be white and black. You don't want to go crazy like I did when I just started. I was buying different colors. Just buy black and white. That's a basic color that everybody put on their shirt. As you can tell, I got white on on the dark. I put on white. On the light, I can put on dark, uh, um, black. So I'm out of black right now. And there are different um, viner called viners that you can get if you want to. It depends on how you want your business to be, how what you want for your business. Some people just stick to white. Some people just stick to black. Some people are like versatile. So um, if you want to go into the glitter wall, there are different glitters. Um, these are the glitters that I bought for Christmas, so I love them. They are really, really good. I really, really love them. And um, and this is another glitter that I bought for Christmas. So you don't have to go for glitter, whatever you think you prefer. There are different kinds of viners that you can get. And if you guys want me to go deep on vinyls, you let me know. Because when I started, I was confused on different vinyls. So let me know the kind of vinyls you guys... If you guys want me to do a um, video to be special... To, if you guys want me to do videos on vinyls, let me know. I can do that for you guys. So you can really understand what vinyls are. And there, there, there's another kind of vinyl that you can use. It is called... Let me show you this here. This is a puff vinyl. If that's what your business you want to gravitate towards, just puffs. Puffs kind of is like a 3D design effect that it gives to it. It puffs out, um, like the name um, sounds. It does puff out, and the design is so unique. I love puffs design, and I am thinking I'm gonna go. I'm gonna add that to my business. I did add it. I took it off, but I I really love puff. I don't know what the market loves. I don't want to do what I like. I want to do what the market loves. So that's something to consider if you want to be really niche specific in the, with this business. You can decide to go for a certain kind of um, vinyl. You feel me? If you want to go for a regular vinyl, if you want to go for pop vinyl, that's a niche there. A pop vinyl is a niche. I love that niche. So everybody just know you for that kind of um, design. So like, oh... I know there's this company that all they do is puffs. So make sure you get the right puff. I love puff. I bought more puffs. I want to try. So um, I'm going to be doing it, doing that on this channel. So you guys watch out for that video. So you guys can see the effect, how beautiful puff design or puff vinyls are. So um, of course you need vinyl. You need your t-shirts. And um if you're going into sweatshirts, t-shirts, whatever, you will need that. If you guys want me, want me to share um, where I get my blanks from, I can share that with you guys so you guys don't have to hustle too much to find blanks. And uh, those vinyls are good qualities and the amount is affordable. That's something you can definitely make profit on. So, but anyways... Um, I don't think I have anything else that is a part of the necessity. So I think I have covered everything. Those are all the stuff you will need to start your heat press t-shirt business for 2023. Oh. So you guys check it out. Please do not sit on your um on your ideas. If you have it in mind to do it, do it. Do not let nothing hold you back because procrastination today leads to failure tomorrow so you don't want that so please go ahead and start now if you're thinking about it that's a sign that's a sign honey go for it but anyways guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for hanging with me if you learned something from this if this was beneficial if i'm speaking to you let me know in the comment section so i know this message was for somebody because i've had this in mind i have been like i need to make this video i need to get this video out so if you know i was speaking to you go ahead and tell me let me know in the comment section so that i can know that this message is for you but anyways and also 
please give me thumbs up if you learned something from this if you picked something from this video all i need is thumbs up do not forget to share this video with somebody you think will need this information and as always stay positive work hard and make it happen bye